And it follows Ravish Kumar, a leading uh, Indian TV uh, newsman, uh, over a two-year period, from 2018 to early 2020. And it really shows you the pressures that Indian, uh, that this particular journalist is, is going under, because he works for NDTV, as you say, a very acclaimed uh, news media organization. It was one of the pioneers of TV journalism in India, and it has managed to maintain its editorial standards. And that's no mean feat in this age of misinformation and divisiveness uh, because uh, the broadcast media in India, a lot of the channels are really government mouthpieces. And there is a lot of targeting of journalists who are just trying to do their job, which is hold truth to power. And they can often be targeted as anti, uh, you know, they, they, first and foremost, they're targeted as liberal media. They can be labeled anti-national and even traitors. Hello, everyone, and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today's uh, episode is special because it's about a special person. Namaskar, Me Ravish Kumar. This is the Hindi title of the movie Why We Watched, which has been made by filmmaker Vinay Shukla. And this had a world premiere in the Toronto International Film Festival on the 11th of September. And uh, it, we have to keep waiting for the release in India. But uh, this movie is going to be special. This is a documentary for 100 minutes uh, on Ravish Kumar. And uh, this is probably the first time that anybody has uh, created a movie on a journalist because uh, I don't know, no, I, maybe I might be wrong in that, but then I don't know of anybody who has created a movie on a journalist and that too, a Magsaysay Award winner. I'm talking about Ravish Kumar. And this is one person I really look up to because he's somebody who is so fearless, who is so focused about his journalism. He speaks and does nothing but journalism. And that is what is so important for people like us who talk about being fearless, who talk about, uh, talk to young people about being fearless so that they become fearless, they become focused and they, are, they dare to ask those questions. I always keep telling all my students, please ask those questions, please ask those re relevant questions. If you want to be a good communicator and if you want to stand out in your profession, then you have got to ask those questions. So when uh, this thing happened, when Adani was taking over NDTV and uh, then Ravish Kumar spoke about this and he said that nobody can stop me. Nobody can stop me from reporting and talking about the relevant things. And that is what is important because nowadays we are losing people who are speaking their more significant things, most important things and journalists who are asking questions. They are no longer asking questions. They are very scared that the government would put some ED or the CID or somebody against, uh, uh, against them. So they are very scared. So. Uh, it is important that we have people like Ravish Kumar, we celebrate the life of lives of these sort of people because there are very few left, very few of these people are left in this, uh, in India at least, I know of very few journalists who are left who can actually question the, question the government, question what is happening, speak about what is happening, be very very open and blunt despite getting lots of uh, threats from uh, different elements towards his family, towards himself, towards all kinds of things at odd times of the day and night. He would get all kinds of different threats. But despite that, he has kept on fearlessly. He has kept on talking despite all the trolls. I have seen how people have trolled him. People have spoken ill about him. People, of course, the, one, the ones who troll are usually people without any brains. I always say that. People who troll, people who do not know how to speak in a sophisticated manner are those very same people who have, who are not cultured, who don't have their families to teach him that you can have a conversation, you can have a debate, but you can speak very sophisticatedly also. These are the same people who have not learned that. It, it, it's, uh, uh, I, I'm still hopeful though. I, it's a pity that they do this, but I'm still hopeful that they will actually learn from the rest of the people who are actually sophisticated in conducting a debate or in, uh, in uh, doing their arguments uh, during a debate. So let us go back to Ravish Kumar. This particular movie, this 100 uh, minutes movie that uh, Vinay Shukla has created is uh, going to be released in India very soon. Uh, 
um, the world premiere has already happened in Toronto International Film Festival on the 11th of September and uh, we are going to have this filming very soon. So let me tell you about Vinay Shukla. He had also created another movie on Arvind Kejriwal way back in 2016 and for the Toronto International Film Festival. This movie was called The Insignificant Man. It was about the rise of Arvind Kejriwal and um, which of course and now his party is a huge political party but uh, uh, but uh, making this movie on Ravish Kumar uh, Vinay Shukla says that this group of very brave journalists are actually dying out and uh, they are like they they are they are in a very um, scary position he says that they don't know that tomorrow whether their jobs are still going to be alive and whether they are going to sink like the titanic and uh, however people like ravish kumar despite knowing the fact that their jobs are not going to be there for speaking out so openly so fearlessly and so consistently about one particular subject so if he is speaking about it like that fearlessly despite knowing the fact that tomorrow he might not have a job he is doing his work despite uh, sinking like the titanic so that is what uh, vinay shukla has to say and uh, for this movie that insignificant man on arvind kejriwal it was banned by the government way back in 2016 but then uh, i don't know if anybody has seen it i have not watched it i hope to watch it sometime and uh, it has now i think they have won the case uh, it is no longer banned and uh, so i hope this movie also this documentary which vinay shukla has made while we watched and uh, the the hindi title is uh, Namaskar Mr Ravish Kumar so it is going to be quite a uh, interesting one because uh, the hall at Toronto International Film Festival was filled to the maximum i believe it that was what the report said the, it was filled to the maximum people who were watching they were uh, they were literally over each other to get a seat to watch this movie there were other movies also but then they were they were very interested to watch this particular movie of a fearless journalist who dares to speak his mind dares to speak what he uh, what he wishes despite getting threats despite the odds against him despite the government against him everyone is against him but even then he has kept his stand and i definitely salute this guy this uh, mr ravish kumar i have you have my uh, you have my deep respects and i wish to take a bow before you really really deep respects for you I have, um, and I would like to tell all my students to be as fearless as Mr. Ravish Kumar. Because when you become fearless, people become scared of you. People, uh, people start becoming scared. So see, the of the fearless person has stood tall. Not, not anybody else. Not the coward. Not, uh, not other cowards who have, who have sold their soul to the devil. No, those people have not come to the fore. I hope the other journalists are now going to learn. <laughs> because uh, if they are not going to learn from from this sort of a wonderful example as uh, mr ravish kumar then i don't know when they are going to learn they, i hope they are don't they won't die sad people when they turn 100 years old when they turn 150 years old and they are in their death beds and i hope they don't have that feeling that they actually sold their souls to the devil it should not be like that they should feel that they lived a life of uh, honor they lived uh, despite having everything everything against them despite the odds against them despite the government coming against them they still stood their stand and they spoke the truth because right now the country needs the truth and not lies we need we need truth to come forward we we don't want lies we don't want we don't want anything to be hidden from anyone from the public especially from people like us for for the general public we don't want anything to be hidden we want everything to be open and clear and absolutely crystal clear so on that note i'm going to say bye do keep watching ravish kumar because you're going to be very inspired when you listen to him when he speaks the truth when he comes up with data when he uh, speaks from the core of his heart that is important we have at least at least we can be proud of one person who is still alive and who is uh, who speaks for the people and who is not scared of anyone or anything salute mr ravish kumar